I'm Samantha Rochello and I live in Erskineville. Uh, my name is Cheyenne De Silva and I'm from Camden. My name's Meg Collins and I live in Coromel. My name is David James Young and I live in Camberwara. Being a regional university, UIW students come from all over Sydney and the Illawarra. Uh, there's a large number of people who travel from Sydney and southern Sydney, for instance, and uh, we'd like to do more uh, to, uh, to encourage them to travel by train. Of course, train services could improve to help that. With UOW's transport survey just released, I set out to see how students got to uni on a daily basis via their chosen transport option and to see what other alternatives were available to them. How do you get to uni on a daily basis? Um, well, I have to catch a train from Erskineville to Central, then from Central to North Wollongong, then a bus from North Wollongong to uni. It depends. Sometimes there's like express, sometimes there's like all stops. It can take me anywhere from an hour and a half, that's at its quickest, to three hours. Uh, usually I get to uni um, by car and that takes about 45 minutes to about an hour depending on traffic. What other options are there available to you if you didn't catch the train? Um, basically it's only just train or driving but I just think that driving that far a couple of days a week would just add so much in petrol costs. So train ticket costs like $7.80 so it's a bit cheaper. Oh, well, there's plenty of um, transport alternatives, but it's really just the easiest way. You know, if you try to take a train or a bus, it takes like two to three hours, and that's not really worth it. Uh, every two years, we do a number of surveys to determine how people are travelling to the university and uh, to establish how people feel about the forms of transport and what issues they have with the modes of transport they use. As I say, around th a third of everybody coming to the uni comes on a on the shuttle, but about a third of people um, are coming one person to a car. So there's both ends of the spectrum there. Um, the vast majority of people still do drive their car. Um, we've encouraged a lot more people to share cars, which has been a, a big plus because, uh, as everybody knows, there's a serious problem in terms of uh, being able to fit all the cars into the space we have. Um, and uh, I think we're moving in the right direction in that more and more people each year are travelling by sustainable transport or more sustainable transport than, uh, than car. Um, and over the last few years, the Gong Shuttle has provided an enormous uh, change to the modes that people use to get to the university. Um, I get to uni by driving. Um, I have paid especially for my own parking spot. I will um, catch the train from Bombardary, which is near Nara, and go straight to North Wollongong, get a bus from there, come here, leave, do the whole thing in reverse. Um, just over an hour, so 70, 80 minutes or so. I used to try and catch public transport, but it began to you know, just get so difficult that it just wasn't worth my time anymore, um, especially with the fact that you know I only leave 15 to 10 minutes from the uni and sometimes it could take me up to an hour to get to uni you know either waiting for a bus because I would have to catch a bus and then a train and then another bus like it's it's you know and when you're only you know 10 minutes drive away it seems a bit ridiculous that they're not running straight buses in the university um, especially because there is a lot of students that live in just suburbs just north of Wollongong. It's well established that parking in this area is completely ridiculous so yeah, pr pretty much everyone I know has given up on that and, you know, the free buses have been working relatively well, so, you know, I guess I just stick with that. Overall, the, the figures show that around 50% of everybody who comes to the uni each day are coming from within five kilometres. We already have um, uh, a, a good deal of congestion in the roads around the university in the mornings uh, and in the evenings uh, when the bulk of people are coming and going to the point where it's, it's actually not very safe with people uh, with uh, cars banking up back onto the freeway in both directions. Well th there are from the survey there are hundreds and hundreds of comments or very useful comments about uh, everything from the smallest issue to some fairly significant ones and we're doing what we can in, uh, in utilising the information people have given us and the ideas um, to, uh, to prioritise what we are doing so that we can uh, improve transport and make uh, sustainable transport a thing for everyone. So there you have it, that's how this proportion of students get to uni on a daily basis. I am Josh Matthews, goodbye.